Pierce Didi has always been a character of topic, whether it be about him and Majora's past, or about him as a character from a game standpoint. Whatever it is, he is a very important and interesting character. In this video, I'm going to dissect the lore elements and references of the well-known Majora's Mask character, Fierce Deity. Fierce Deity's backstory is not expounded on in the game. However, through implication from other characters, we can get a glimpse of what this mysterious deity's history is. Many Zelda fans have theorized on this character's history. Most of these theories are plausible, but some better than others. One theory suggests that the fierce deity was a nemesis of Majora. If this theory is correct, that implies that Majora gave Link the mask to defeat both him and the powerful spirit trapped in the mask. Another theory, which I do not think makes sense or is applicable to the lore of Majora's Mask, is that fierce deity is the terminant version of Link. Their proof? Similar appearance and similar voice. Now, I'm going to break the immersion of the game and disprove this theory. From a game perspective, that isn't coincidence. They had to reuse models from Ocarina of Time, henceforth the reason they look the same. The last theory most fans consecutively agree on is that the Fierce Deity's mask has a possessive name instead of the other transformative masks that have a singular name, or a version that makes it seem like there is a spirit within the mask. In this case, the mask was owned by a Fierce Deity, not the other way around. One thing does put a wrench in this theory. A gossip stone, located on the opposite side of the river to the Deku Scrub in Iconic Canyon, refers to the mask as the Fierce Deity Mask, meaning that there is a spirit in the mask. It's also called that in Breath of the Wild. Now, onto my theory, which I know this may seem a little arrogant, I think is the most accurate. Remember my origin of Majora's Mask video? Well, that unnamed traveler that I mentioned is the Fierce Deity. He knew a song that only important people or creatures would know. That song being the Song of Time. Remember, he played that song on his drum, which birthed time and caused Majora to die. How he became a deity, I do not know. It's most likely, though, that he was already a deity. This would explain why he killed Majora, and a fierce deity refers to a deity that is good to humans, but fierce to evil, which Majora definitely was. Remember the first theory I talked about? Well, that also plays a part. If fierce deity was a nemesis of Majora, my theory would explain that. Anyway, I know my explanation of my theory was long, but I think it explains mostly everything. The other theories aren't bad, except one. But opinions aside, I think that Fierce Deity needs more attention from the Majora's Mask fanbase because he's also mysterious and interesting. I think he might also explain some other lore pieces that don't fit quite yet. As always, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye